Welcome back to a very special postseason edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. Now, it's not too often we have an opportunity to talk about the guys that matter, the linemen, the offensive linemen, the defensive linemen. And by the way, the Minnesota Vikings have a left tackle in Christian Derrissaw, who's quickly becoming one of the better offensive tackles in the National Football League. Don't believe me? Let's put the tape on and prove it. Now, when you talk about offensive linemen in particular, they got to be big. They got to be strong. But the main thing is they have to have great feet and they have to be great athletes. And that's what you look for. And I think this first play is a perfect example of a man the size of Christian Derrissaw having feet like a basketball player. Detroit Lions, and what we talked about earlier in the Hawkinson film is that where these guys' defensive linemen start, they don't always finish there. And you're getting a stun up front where you're going to get both of these defensive linemen to loop underneath. It's going to be a run play to the outside, so Derrissaw is going to open up, but just watch the adjustment he makes with his feet. Puts those feet in the ground, turns his body, walls the guy off. Looks like an easy block, but it's not that easily done when you're six foot five and 350 pounds. So great footwork is always important, especially in the running game, but it also is in the passing game. And this is another great example of a big man being able to move his feet. At the snap of the football, you'll see the outside linebacker. He gets that hand on that shoulder, right? He's getting that press, that, that push. Derrissaw's body is bent well, but he needs to get a little bit more leverage. But just watch his feet. He's able to gather them, get those feet back, and then just collapse the outside linebacker into the pile. So his ability to be as big as he is, strong as he is, and then able to move his feet makes him one heck of a good pass protector. So if you're an offensive lineman or defensive lineman, you got to have the good feet. But once you have the good feet, then the rest of the body can work off of that. And this is really the strength. Derrissaw's hand strength is unbelievable. When he puts his hands on somebody, they're moving. And this, is, I think, is a perfect example of that. This is just a simple outside play. You'll see Derrissaw work his way outside. He gets that hand on the inside shoulder of that, but he wants to push this defensive lineman outside. Watch when that right foot gets in the ground and he's able to push with that right hand, with the right foot in the ground, and move. This is a 280-pound man right here. Just, boom, pushes him, long arms him, gets him right out, turns those shoulders. It's a big man with great feet who can move a lot of body. All right, so we've seen Christian in some pass sets and some outside plays. This is the cutoff play. This is important. And why? Because the defensive lineman's already in this B gap. So you're going to get these offensive linemen all working this direction. He's got to get his head across the bow of the defensive lineman in front of him. Now, nice job by the guard setting him up. But see how he gets that head across that shoulder? But he's getting the lineman down the field. This is three or four yards down the field. The quickness off the line, get across a defensive lineman, and then get your body into him, get him down the field. Very, very difficult to do, and Derrissaw does it very well. All right, another block offensive lineman off of make it. It's the double team, right? It's pretty simple. Derrissaw, Ezra Cleveland. Oh, by the way, J.J. Watt right there. So a really, really big, good, solid defender in front of him. Now, when the ball snap, what happens here is you have two linemen on this defensive lineman, and basically their job is to take care of both the D lineman and the linebacker. So they're going to stay on this block until that linebacker declares himself. Well, he just takes himself out of the play. They've pushed J.J. Watt about seven, eight yards down the field. That's strength. That's power. That's pad level. Those guys just don't grow on trees. And Derrissaw, when he gets into you, can move a mountain, literally. All right, so we talked about the footwork, the speed, all those things. Then come the hands. And this is where Derrissaw is such, like we said before, he's strong-handed. Perfect example in in pass protection here. The defensive end comes off, and the defensive ends a lot of time want to get that first hand into that lineman to get him on his heels, to get that body pushed back. Watch what Derrissaw does in this case to take that move away from the defensive lineman, and you'll see it right as he gets to this point. You watch Derrissaw's right hand. His hands are up. The defensive lineman's hands are coming in underneath. He'll take that right hand and slap away the left hand of the defensive lineman, chop it to the ground, and then you just get fat on them. You just lay on them because they deserve it. If they're going to be like that and use their hands that way, all 360, pff, lay right on them. Now we're building our case for Christian Derrissaw, and in the end, 
You know, we talked about the meat and potatoes, the, the feet, the, the legs, the strength, the hands, but you gotta have a sprinkling of nasty in you. And I think this is, this is a good example of that. Again, great job with his hands, because you'll see on the snap of the football, you'll see the defensive lineman trying to get that left hand in there to get pressure to put Derisaw on his heels, but Derisaw has his right hand there to slap that hand down. It's the perfect counter to what this defensive lineman tries to do. And it's such a good counter that Derisaw doesn't even need to touch him other than slapping that hand down to get him on the ground. Because the defensive lineman is expecting, oh yeah, I'm gonna get something on him, gets nothing, and then boom, make him pay. I love that attitude out of Derisaw, and the more we get out of that, the better he's gonna be. So as a defensive lineman, you tried the power move, right? You tried to get the leverage move in there. To counter that, you try to do the spin, but this goes back to the athleticism of Christian Derisaw, right? Going up against Parsons. Parsons wants to get upfield. He's trying to attack vertically to get the lineman to move this way, get all that body weight flowing, and then work his way underneath. But Derisaw knows he's able to reset, turn back inside, get that right foot in the ground, and with that big body, just collapse him down the middle. This is a huge play to Justin Jefferson. So they try the power, then they try the speed, but Derisaw can take care of both. Now we get to the fun part. This is where the nastiness and those things start to come in. But again, pass protection, hand fighting. You gotta have great feet, gotta have great body control. Then you get to the hands. You don't start with the hands, you start with the feet. But you'll see, again, another long arm attempt right here. You see that defensive lineman putting that arm out to say, I'm gonna get this into you. Derisaw gets that right hand right over the top, pushes that hand down, boom. Yeah, I'm just gonna lay on top of you. Make him pay for it. Gotta love that. You gotta love that nastiness. Now we mentioned hand strength, we mentioned nasty. I think this is a great example of both. Derisaw in this situation is trying to cut off this defensive lineman in front of him and he just does it so easily. Gets his hands underneath that guy's pad level, working him down the field, working him down the field, and then says, you know what? I'm just gonna put you right on the ground. Throws <laughs> him to the ground like a rag doll. Oh, and Derisaw's putting people on tarmac. Cousins can pull that thing down and run. All right, now we start getting into the segments where it looks like a high school kid's playing Pop Warner football. But again, cutoff block. Derisaw working his way down. He's gonna take care of two people on this play, but first, I'm gonna get to number 94 and just take him, throw him on the ground like a rag doll, and then I'm gonna work my way up to the linebacker, right? The play doesn't go very far, but Derisaw on that backside had two guys. I mean, throwing around full grown men at defensive line, that's, it's an amazing thing to see. Now, this one's called the setup and the assist, right? You wanna get the defensive lineman thinking he's all right, but watch Derisaw. As soon as he feels and realizes that def this defensive end is not going to come underneath but go outside, he's able to go look and find his buddy Ezra Cleveland and help him out. And once Derisaw sees that, he's able to get over there and just bam, hit, knock down, knock down our own lineman. He just causes like a train wreck everywhere he goes. He gets that body moving, man. Guys lose their feet. So I know what you're thinking, coach, if this guy can move, use him in the screen game. Oh well, my God, this is my favorite part of this highlight reel is what this guy can do in open space to unsuspecting defenders, right? In this play, Christian Derisaw, he sets the outside and he actually does a nice job. He's got to set this up a little bit just to get this defensive end to slow down so he can't redirect and get down the field. So he sets him up nicely, gets to that second level, gets to this linebacker and just look at that. That's a grown man. He just now, he knocks him into Dalvin Cook and then you see him go, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I threw this guy on the ground and knocked him out of his cleats. But hey, I'm getting out there and hitting somebody. Now, as a former NFL linebacker, these are the plays that keep me up at night. Well, I don't play anymore, but still, I have memories of plays just like this, Randall McDaniel style. Front side of this play, you'll see Christian Derisaw work up to the outside. He's got to worry about this gap inside, but he's working at double team. He sees this linebacker coming. But see where this guy's looking? He's looking at the ball. He's not, he's, he, he has no idea what's about to hit him. He has no idea what train is about to hit him. But Derisaw plants those feet, gets inside, boom, lights out. He, like, he's taking out his own, he's taking out three people. Linebackers slow down when they know if they go outside, they're gonna get hit by some freight train. And finally, the, a huge play against New Orleans Saints over in London. Derisaw, again, on the screen in space, just, you know, this is our unsuspecting linebacker over here. Just watch him. He has no idea what's about to happen to him, poor fella. All right, again, Derisaw, given the good pass rush, makes this defensive end just slow down a little bit so he can't redirect 
and become part of the play. Darisaw lets him go by, gets down the field, and again, his vision's on this linebacker. The linebacker's like, ah, no, you're not gonna get in there. Just buckles him, buckles him to the ground. Madison, touchdown. Man, that guy in space is just an absolute joy to watch. So overall, Christian Darisaw has all the height, the weight, the speed, the quick feet, which is why he was a first round draft pick. It's that sprinkling of nasty that we saw at the end of this film that's gonna get him to become a pro bowler and possibly an all pro. Christian Darisaw is a bright spot in this offensive line and he is our future. Gotta love watching him play.